Hi, I'm Tyler, Project Manager and Lighting Director here at Sweet Tree Productions. Today, I'm here to demonstrate how to set up one of our 25-foot Sumner crank lifts. These lifts can be used to fly any type of lighting, trussing, audio, video, or pretty much anything with all-purpose use. As you can tell, this Sumner lift is a heavy-duty lift. It lifts up to uh, 650 pounds at full extension at 25 foot, but if it's lower than that, it'll hold more. So, this has just been delivered to your show site, or you've come and picked it up, and we're ready to set it up. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out the uh, stabilizing legs, short ones first, and these go to the rear of the lift itself. They slide in, simple and easy and you'll hear a pin click when they get in the right position. Just like that, okay? Now we're going to do the same thing for the other side. We'll pull the pin out, lift the short leg, and insert it into the rear leg slot. Just like that. It's secure and it's not going anywhere. Next, we're going to pull out the long legs. Same process, pull out the pin, lift the leg up, and you're going to slide it into the front leg position, just like that. Same thing for the next one. And now, all four of your stabilizing legs are uh, in place, okay? So we're going to straighten this up, make sure it's in the right location. All right, we'll begin to start leveling the lift itself using the outriggers on the end of each leg. At first, put a little tension not too tight to begin with. Just like that. Just enough to get a little tension on them. A little tension there. And a little tension here. Now, these Sumner lifts have a leveling bubble right here. And if you look straight down, you probably won't be able to see it on the camera, but we are just about level, okay? So, all that are needed to, uh, to make it level is just to make a few small adjustments. And you can do that using the actual outriggers on the legs. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these handles. If you'll come on over here for this. We just pull this pin up and slide the handle out. The handles face inward during transport to make sure they don't get hit by anything and uh, damaged. Pull the pin back up and it's locked into place. We're going to do the same thing on the other side because this is a, a double crank uh, lift and it pops into place. Now what you want to make sure you do is you put them at uh, different uh, 180 opposite positions so that way you can do it like you're rowing a boat just like that okay so next we're going to take the forks and angle them outward so you pull the pin at the bottom it slides right off and then you'll just slide it right on until you hear the click and that will be how you get that into place you do the same thing for your adjacent fork, pull the pin, line it up, pull the pin again, and we just heard it pop into place. So now our forks are uh, correctly in place. The next thing we have to do is release the safety. Now to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to lower the lift just enough to be able to unclip the red 
ratchet strap. And you can just lay that right there, whatever works best for you. So, now our lift is ready to work. We're going to raise it up to working height. There's a safety cable here if you're having any truss mounted on here. Also, if you have maybe a line array or a speaker cluster or maybe even a uh, LED video screen. This is really a multi-purpose uh, use crank lift here and it's, uh, it's really great. So, we've got our audio, video, lighting, whatever you want on the lift. We're going to begin to crank it up now. Now, with this being dual handle, it'll make it a lot easier and uh, put less wear and tear on you if you use both arms. And you'll do it just like this. It's uh, If you have two of these lifts or more that are connecting truss, make sure you and the uh, other rigger that is working on the other crank go at the same time. So that way, to prevent any bowing in the truss or any damage to the truss or fixtures. The best way to do this is just count when you get to the top, say with your right hand. So like one, two, three, four, and so on and so on. So that way it goes up at the same time. Now, as we're in our warehouse, we're not going to be able to go up to the full extension of this crank lift, but it goes up 25 feet and it, uh, each layer on here extends it another level so uh, whatever you've got your trussing your uh, lighting video sound it's going to go up as high as you extended like i said earlier uh, 650 pounds at 25 feet full extension and then if it's lower than 25 feet it'll hold more um, so what we're going to do say our show is done you know this is done great for the show we're going to lower it back down Simple as that. Come on down just like that. And uh, the disassemble is the complete opposite of the assemble. Very simple. You're going to get it back down to working height here. Make sure to uh, keep tension on that metal cable so the cable doesn't come off the track. If the cable comes off the track, the whole lift has to be taken apart in order to get it re, uh, retracted. So, we've got our uh, lighting, audio, video, whatever off our lift. It's just our lift now. We're ready to disassemble. We're going to pull the pin. Slide it out. Put the uh, forks straight up in the air. And you'll hear it when it pops into place. Just like that. We'll do the same thing over here on our opposite side. Take our fork, put it here, slide it, heard the pop, so it's into place, ready to rock and roll for transport. Next thing we're going to do is reattach our safety, so that way this thing doesn't go anywhere. We've got it down to uh, the level we can hook our rat red ratchet safety back up, and we're just going to crank it up until we get some good tension on that safety. And right there we've got good tension. After this, we're gonna take off our handles again, slide them off, and uh, reattach them inward facing, so that way they don't get damaged in transport. And they just pull the pin, slide it off, and uh, put it back on the same way, just the opposite direction, just like that. We'll take our front legs, and there's a pin you pull that popped into place. Well, first, uh, you got to loosen them up so you can get them out, uh, unless you're He-Man. Then you might can pull them out. So, we're releasing the tension off of all the legs. And uh, one thing to note, when you're uh, using the outriggers and putting the tension on, all four of the casters on the bottom of the lift need to be off the ground and be able to spin. That's very important to make sure that those are uh, free floating so that way this thing doesn't go rolling during the show because nobody wants that. Okay, 
now we've got all the tension off the outriggers and off the uh, leveling legs. We're going to pull the pin, slide it out just like that, lift it up. Now these go in a certain way. Uh, they have a slit back here that the uh, pin pops in. So the feet face the uh, forks. And so these will slide right in into their little home right here. And the pin's in place. I couldn't get that out even if I wanted to. So, same operation on the other four legs. Make sure the uh, leveling feet are facing the fork. And then you'll hear the click. It's in place, ready to rock and roll. And so we're going to continue to take the legs off. This is our front leg here. Make sure these outriggers face the forks. We'll slide it into its home position. Making sure that we hear the uh, pin lock into place. Just like that. It's not going anywhere. We'll do the same thing with our rear leg here. We'll slide in on into place. It's locked in, and uh, our Sumner lift is ready for transport. Load it up in the truck, trailer, wherever you're going to put it. And that's it, folks. Very simple to uh, set up, very simple and easy to use, user-friendly. It's an awesome lift, does a great job. If you have any questions about this particular lift, any of our lifts, or any of our inventory, feel free to shoot us an email or give us a call. And thanks for joining us here at Sweet Tree Productions.